Hey everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the 11th LAMP tutorial. Um, today we're actually not going to write any code. What you need to do is go out to w3schools.com and this has been kind of our itinerary if you will and we are at operators. So go ahead and click on operators and I wanted to briefly discuss what is an operator because if you're new to programming the whole concept of an operator, I mean this looks like ancient Egyptian algebra. I mean you're looking at this going what in the world? So I just want to very briefly explain this so you don't have to sit here and read this and burn this into memory. Okay, first off what is an operator? Well an operator operates on variables. Remember our discussion on variables? A variable is something that will change. Here we have like the plus operator. You See how you have an X and a Y? Well the X is a variable and the Y is a variable. So you have two variables and the plus, you guessed it, is addition. So you're adding these two together. An example would be 2 plus 2 equals 4. So if x is 2 and y is 2, the result's going to be 4. That's a pretty easy one. Same thing with subtraction. I mean, some of these are going to, now that you understand the syntax, are going to be fairly obvious. Subtraction, multiplication, division. Notice the direction of that slash for division. It's the opposite of an escape character. Modulus. What is or is it, it's not modulus, it's modulus, sorry. That is the remainder of two things divided. So the remainder of x divided by y. So 5 modulus 2 equals 1. One of the rarely used functions, but, or I'm sorry, one of the rarely used operators, but it is out there. Now negation. Minus x. What's that do? It's the opposite of x. Meaning negative 2, the opposite's nothing. Um, concatenation, adding two strings together. Now, I shouldn't say adding two strings together, I should say joining two strings together. For example, hi concatenate ha, hi ha. I don't know who came up with that little example, but that's kind of funny. Now, one of the more common stumbling blocks, the equal sign. This takes a little bit of getting used to if you're not used to programming x equals y. Well, this is an assignment. Basically, you're saying x is equal to y. That one's pretty simple. Now, x plus equal y. That's the same as saying x equals x plus y. Sorry about that. I had to uh, pause the video. My phone was ringing. All right, so this is basically a shorthand. You're saying x plus equals y. So you're saying x equals the value of x plus y. So you're basically just incrementing it by the value of y. x minus equals. Same thing. x equals x minus y. Now if you want an example, let's say x is 5, y is 2. So x plus equals would be 7 because you're taking x is 5. So x equals x. So 5 plus y which is 2. For these you can almost just ignore the beginning x equals part and just think of it as x plus whatever. Same thing with subtraction. Um, the 5 and 2, the answer would of course be 3 because you're taking 5 and minusing 3. Multiplication, now you see the format. It's x multiply y, division, modulus, and concatenation. Pretty simple stuff. Um, I almost think for homework you should you know, open up a Komodo ID or whatever you're using and actually make a couple variables and play around with this a little bit. Now the increment operators, we'll get into this in future tutorials, but I wanted to touch on this. Plus plus x and x plus plus. Pre-increment and post-increment. And What does that mean? Well, this will not make a lot of sense to you until we get into loops, which is coming in a very soon tutorial. Um, basically what you're saying is before you read x, increment it. And then after you've read x, increment it. Like I said, won't make a bit of sense until we actually get into loops. Comparison operators, this will really throw some people off. Notice there's two equal signs. x equal equal y. What does that mean? What we're saying is, are these two equal to each other? Notice how if we only do one equal sign, we're saying x equals y, meaning we're assigning the value of x from the value of y. So if x is 2, and, or I'm sorry, if x is 5 and y is 2, then we say x equals y, then we're saying x actually equals 2. Okay? But if we say equal equal, we're saying 
does x equal y? We're asking a question. For example, true if x equals y, so 5 equal equal 8 returns false because 5 and 8 are not the same. All right, now three equal signs. We're saying are they identical? This is a little bit different than most C style languages. If x is equal to y and they are of the same type, what does that mean? Well, look at the example here. Five triple equal quote five unquote. Remember our conversation about strings. That's a string. That's an integer. They're two different types. They may be the same value, but they're different types. So it's going to return false. And then x exclamation equals, the exclamation means not. So we're saying x not equals y. So 5 not equals 8 returns true because 5 is not equal to 8. x less than or greater to y. It's equality again. So we're saying 5 less than or greater than 8 equals true. Then, uh, you know, x not equal equal, so we're saying they're not identical. Once again, you know, integer 5, not equal, equal, string 5 returns true. x greater, x less than, greater than or equal to, once again, we'll get into looping, lower than or equal to. So as you can see, there's a lot of things in here, and now we get into logical operators like anding, oring, and, you know, the and, or shortcuts, and the not. This we'll be covering here very soon in the if statements. It's where they're most commonly used. So you're saying something like, you know, x equals, you know, is x equal to 6, or x or, I should say, y equal 3 returns false. This is very basic algebra. Um, there's not a lot of mystical stuff to it. It may look complicated, but once you actually get into writing code, which we're going to do next, this will be fairly simple. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Um, like I said, no code for this tutorial. We just wanted to explain these things. You're going to see these in action over the coming tutorials, so I really wanted to touch base on this. This is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining.